Welcome back guys, Sly Bacon here. Welcome to Call of the Beast Men DLC. It is now live and the first thing we want to notice is how beautiful this new bloody interface looks. Isn't it great? Oh, this is all so cool. The description's over here now. We have options here for our battle timers and AI etc etc. It all looks so good. So let's have a look at the Beast Men themselves. So we've got um, a selection of two heroes to start with, or two legendary lords to start with, I should say. We've got Kazak the One-Eye, who's the faction leader. He's a powerful melee fighter and leader. Can unlock a ferocious Razor Gore chariot mount, which sounds really, really good. Um, faction effects, income from raiding plus 10%, and leadership plus 5%, or plus 5 versus humans. Um, he starts with the additional minotaurs and two units of the Gore Hood. Other... Legendary lore we can start with is Malagor the Dark Omen, who is a very powerful Bray Shaman and a master of the Law of the Wild, which is a new magic skill that was unlocked with Call of the Beastmen. He has Bray Shaman plus hero capacity of plus one and campaign movement range of plus ten percent. He starts with an additional units of the giant. Starting with a giant, how freaking cool is that? Uh, he's got Ungor Spearhood with shields, and he's got an extra unit of Chaos Warhounds, uh, the poison variety. Oh, cool. So he starts in the Southern Badlands, and this other guy starts in Estilia, which is, of course, um, like Bretonia territory. That Those guys. Those guys over that way. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go with... Uh, Kazrak, oh my god, I'm going to have such an issue pronouncing these names. Kazrak the One-Eye, we're going to be playing on hard, so let's jump right in. The dark powers demand war on all civilization. The Cloven Ones answer the call. I am an emissary of such a call. One that has spoken with Bray Shamans and knows their ways. I have sought out the One Eye, for his hatred of man rages above all doors. A single soul is not enough to appease the ruinous powers. They want it all. Send forth the gores. Let civilization be torn asunder. Let the endless hunt begin.
Alrighty. The beast men are here. Flee, flee for your lives. I love the way that his ear twitches in the little thing. I don't know if we'll get that animation in game, but I do love the way that happens. It looks so cool. Oh, we're excited. We're excited. So we're going to be taking this campaign rather slow, uh, mainly because I want to have a look at everything that's changed, etc., etc. A greeting in your tongue, my bestial lord. I know you feel a yearning to kill me, for I am but a man. But you have received the vision. You know who has sent me. My desire is as yours, to see the cloven ones tear down all civilization. So let us begin. To the north, past the mystic forest of Ataloren, is Britonia. Arrogant and aloof, its glittering spires a sure sign of self-righteousness. You should bring ruin to this pretty realm. East of Britonia lies the Empire, the very pinnacle of mankind's hubris. Its capital, Altdorf, is the center of power and a symbol of its surety. Reduce it all to rubble. Let pandemonium reign. The Empire is powerful, but divided. You must strike soon, for it may yet unify and seek to bring civilization to the Bloodgrounds. To the south, the Border Princes hold a tentative grip on all that they call theirs. Yet they are isolated by the mountains and the Blackfire Pass. Soft targets for a hungry herd such as ours. Destruction is in your blood, Nui Gorleth, and the world must know it. So as much as you can, the Cloven Ones shall destroy the world of man. Alrighty. Alright, first up we've got the Beastmen rise from the forest in filth, and their filth, throttling over the fury at the civilization of man. They clamor for blood. Raise the following number of sentiments. Number four, we get 2,000 favor for doing that. Alrighty. So one of the major differences between um, the two Horde factions being obviously the Beastmen now and Chaos is you don't get Chaos Corruption, so you can actually have... Um, sorry, it's not Chaos Corruption, what's it called? Whatever it's called, when the two units are beside each other and they take attrition damage because of the two Hordes fighting each other, the Beastmen don't have that, so that's awesome. Right, so let's, uh, let's have a look at the technology tree, eh? So we've got Grizzly Trophies, which is plus five leadership versus humans but hits our research rate, research rate of 5%. All these do that, okay, that's fine. Uh, unit experience plus one for gore and ungore units. Melee attack plus 10 for lords, plus 10 for... Oh, melee attack and melee defense, okay. And income from raiding plus 15%. And we can counteract that negative research rate by going down this line, which gives us a plus 20% Increase research rate and gives us chaos corruption plus one for all characters. Okay, which one should we go for first? I'm kind of thinking plus one. I don't know how much um, or how the um, economy works for the uh, beastmen, of course. But plus one experience is always good. Then so is income. 15% income seems quite high. I think we'll go income actually. Alright, let's see what we start with. It's got two units of Gore Herd who have Vanguard. I think all the units have Vanguard deployment, just about. All oh, those guys don't. Oh, yes, they do. Ah, no, they don't. So all but these two have Vanguard deployment. So we've got Vanguard deployment. Uh, so this is Gore Herd, 15 armor, 60 leadership, which is quite high, 37 speed. Melee attack, melee defense, weapon strength of 30, that's quite good. Ungor herd is shorted axe infantry, again vanguard to point, they've got stalk. This unit can move hidden in any terrain, nice. So obviously they've got shields, uh, weapon strength 25, leadership 55 is good. Oh, anti-large, this is our spear anti-large, nice. Charge defense against large, poor leadership though. Uh, I'm coming in at 50, 35 speed, 22 weapon strength, obviously with a bonus versus large. Our archery unit, 110 range, 17 missile damage, quite low. Um, again though, they can hide, can move hidden. Minotaurs, our big powerful unit, oh, big powerful indeed. Armor piercing, no forest penalty. They do not suffer 
any penalty as well moving through the forest. Nice, because they knock down all the trees. That's pretty cool. Leadership 60, armor 35, speed 56. That's fast. That's fast for a big unit. And 104 weapon strength with obviously armor pen. Yep, that's it. And we obviously be starting with two hordes. That's good. Let's have a look at our uh, building tree. Jesus, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff, right. This is our main infantry line. Or main... Yeah, infantry. No. Our main army line, basically. Cool. Nice. And this is this is the chaos line, if we wanted to go down that line. We probably will hold off on the chaos line for as long as possible. Senators. So this is like our cavalry line. Nice. Oh, and more cav. Yeah, we definitely want that. And we want the chariot. This is our beast line. Whoa. And this is our... Oh, we definitely want to get some casters up. And a Saigor, which is our giant anti... Or giant artillery, I guess. And giants, of course. Experience for units. And minus upkeep. Nice. Okay, so what... Well, it's telling us to build that first, but we don't want to do that, do we? Oh, how many... Oh, jeez, we've actually got a lot of slots, don't we? One, two, three, four... Get out of there. Ten slots. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can fit everything. Oh, we will grab that then. So we'll do basically the same for this, I guess. Actually, should we upgrade first? That might be the best path, so we can jump up to here as soon as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. Right, where are we going to go, boys? Where are we going to go? Ooh, we should come down here and destroy this, I think. And then shoot back. I think that's the best idea. And we'll do the same for this guy. We'll upgrade that. Yeah, it's going to hurt our income quite a bit, though, isn't it? We might hold off on the second one. What have we got for recruitment? Either Ungor Spearhood or some more Ungor Raiders, which is our archery unit. Yeah, we're not going to go and attack that just yet, because that's a bit silly, you're right. So, Beastmen, Hidden Encampment. Uh, Beastmen have a, this is their main uh, movement, which is, they're hidden the whole time. So, you're basically an ambush dance for the whole duration, unless you get discovered, right? So, that's cool. Use Beast Path, which is the same as the tunneling thing for um, Greenskins and Dwarves, so you can move through any sort of terrain. So, you can see in normal stance... We can't actually move. But that's our movements, normal movement stance, yeah, yeah. And that's our enca encampment stance. And lastly, we have raiding, which is stock standard raiding. So, yeah, the generic stance is this one, which you're in ambush. Which I think that's fine. I think I'm going to keep my two hordes together for now. And, oh no, we actually wanted to go back into thing, didn't we? So we could, do, ah, okay, that's fine. We stuffed up. Sly, you're stuffed up already. Right. I'm going to go into this territory and just raid, I think. That's what we're going to do. That one. If I can. Yes. Not a massive amount of income, but that's okay. Right, awesome, he can now attack, go, go, oh, we want both the armies together if we can, go, 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 not quite, oh, we can hit with this one though, here we go, nice, right, we're going to play this because we want to have a look at the units, see what they're like, so our first one is a bit smaller, um, our first army, but that's okay, we're probably going to be able to take that with just this rather than having to use the reinforcements, Ugh. We want to have a look at some of the animations too, which is pretty nice. Right, so all these guys have Vanguard. Jesus. These are the only guys who don't. Do we have enough um, damage in the Vanguard to actually destroy what they've got? I don't think so. I think we're going to be slightly low, but we will push forward with the archers. They can go right up to this tree line. Still hidden? Yep. And then these guys can come in from behind. 
actually no. I'm gonna stick these guys. Uh, you know that's fine. They they can stay there. That's cool. All right, so that's one, two, and then our back up three. All right, let's have a look at these boys, eh? So this is the Ungor spear herd. Ah, uh, get that out of there. Very, very cool. I'm trying to look at how much variation there actually is. Doesn't look like a heck of a lot, to be honest, but that's okay. They still look cool. Nice, right, where's our leader? Oh, he's got twin axes. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. Right, where's the rest of the beastmen? Hidden in the trees, we can't see them. I see these are the same as the spear version, except they've got um, axes and shields. Nice. And then our range units. Oh, these are so cool. Right, let's go. Let's fight. Let's fight. Where are they up there? Where's those stinking humans? Where's those stinking humans? Right, let's push forward with these. Right, the rest of our troops have arrived. Nearly? I think that's all. No. Oh, Minotaur, Minotaur. We definitely want to have a look at that Minotaur. Right, can you guys speed up here? So we're very fast units, they don't have any ranged, <laughs> which works in our favour of course. So I'm not going to push up, I'm going to wait for the rest of my troops to turn up. Mainly because I want to have a look at the Minotaur. Who's that weapon strength of 470? Oh, is that the one I... Okay. He's got 450 as well, nice, high damage. Come on, be overconfident humans and start attacking us. This is all that we've got. This is all our troops. Not really. Don't tell them we're hiding. Oh, here they are. Oh, let's get some animations on this. Oh, God, look at those fucking things. My God. All right, I need to pause. Um, how can I pause in here? I can't. All right, pause. Oh, my God. How scary are those guys? Jesus. Oh, where's old Kazak the one eye? Oh, he, oh, it's whip. He's got a whip. And like a golden skull. Oh, that's cool. What shy is he missing? The left. Oh, cool. Right, go. Well, they're fast, those minotaurs. Man. We definitely want to get them in the fight, don't we? Four minotaurs, you, you're not hidden. You're not hidden. Here you go, men. Have some minotaur action. Right, put my archers into these. That's all I've got. Oh, Jesus. These guys are going to cause some carnage. Oh, it doesn't look like the humans want to move. It's okay. So I think we can, I'm happy to actually take it with this. That should be enough, eh? Really need to push forward through. I want to get my archers involved. Uh, we'll lock. Yet yeah, you are locked. Unfortunately, we're going to have to push. That's okay. Oh, you're up the front, Mister. You can go in there. I so say they don't actually have any. Um, Range, so we don't need to worry about that. Right, I'll bring the I'll reveal these guys, eh? Right, where's my other group of archers? Back there. Do you run to catch up, please? Or oh, unlock and run, please. Thank you. If you want to sit there, it's fine. We will pelt you from a distance with my amazing 17 damage. <laughs> oh, it's so low. What's this Primal Fury? They cast on themselves. Nice.
Going over here so we can charge from the side. Let's push forward now. Let's go. Let's go crush some humans. Yeah, these guys are running. These guys don't have to run because they're so damn big. I want to see some of these, um, the firing animations when they get close enough. Be momentarily. I've set these guys to attack, haven't I? I have now. Oh, nice. That is a nice animation. Right, let's... Melee, and I'll bring these guys in. Oh, they're still hidden. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Down there. Right, Minotaurs. Let's get in there and wreck some face. Oh, oh he's stuck on his horn. Oh, he just freaking exploded. Oh, nice. Oh, our, how's our spears doing? Oh, there's lots of pokey action going on in there. Oh, and our boss. Oh, yes. Oh, here comes the rest of our troops. I'm going to get this charge off, eh? Come on, boys. Yep, you're targeting that. That's cool. Oh, what, do you, oh, what did I do? I don't know what I pushed. All right, that's all right. These guys have got to charge off. Oh, they tried to hit, but hey, you're trying to hit up with your little head. <laughs> That's fine. No, it's not going to work. That's not going to work, guys. Why are you pushing up there? How are those Minotaurs doing? My Minotaurs have routed. Oh, no. What a disaster. What are my archers doing way up here? Oh, did I get my Minotaurs surrounded? That probably wasn't the best idea, was it? Let's go. They're still going to die. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Ah, oh, we've won. Right. Oh, no. Let's take a moment. Oh, no. His body's... Here we go. Oh, no. He got smashed. He got smashed. Okay. All right. Maybe a wee bit of overconfidence there on the ability of the Minotaurs, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Decisive victory. Right, now we're going to see the options that the Beastmen have for um, conquering and stuff. So we can raise and defile, which will give us plus 100 chaos corruption for the local region. Jesus Christ. And plus 8 horde growth. Or we can loot and raise, which is an option everybody should have. Which will give us 1,000 bucks and destroy the settlement. I think we'll go raise and defile, eh? Oh, we got armor piercing damage. Nice banner. So this erects a um, like totem thingy in the region. So that's awesome. Right. So that should, because it's for the region, right? So that should mean these guys are, yeah. Trending towards 97%. Jesus. Cool. Right. And we got to level up. Let's have a look at our hero skills. It'll be the same. Yes, they are. Although... Gagenshwin Hoos is the renamed version. Oh, Razor Gold Chariot. Income from raiding. Oh, nice. We definitely go that way. All right, those beastmen didn't die, thankfully. All right, so I want to go back up. I want to get some recruiting done, which I can't this turn. We need to do it next turn where we'll move a wee bit slower, eh? Yep, you plan horde, remember slight, you gotta move slow. Right. How much do we need to go in encampment? Twenty five percent. Same as um chaos. Kill him. Yes, that's enough, thank you. Camp, which will obviously mean we can start building that, which we should have done last turn, but that's okay. Um I will grab some more range, thank you very much. I can only recruit two, that's not very many. I don't know how much I wanna pump out this. Just because of income, right? I love the fact we can have both hordes next to each other, though. 
Is there actually any income generating buildings? I wouldn't think so. No, but there is this one which reduces the cost of things. Okay. So we're going to leave this army as is for now. Um, a bit worried about my income, that's all. That's fine, that's fine. We want to get a big horde up running. No, right, this is our next target. Oh, right. The ruinous powers take grim pleasure in your endeavours. In their dark mirth, they grant a boon. A boon, they say. Which of their gifts will you choose? We can get Gorbul, which gives us... Oh, a Gorbul hero. Or we can take a Bray Shaman. Oh, I want to take a Bray Shaman. Thank you. I want to have a look at this bad boy. Right, so he can also get... They can all get chariots, I think, maybe. So we get Spirit Leech, Light, light Leech, Life Leech, Aspect of the Dreadnought, Soul Bite, Doom and Darkness, Evasion, Standard, The Fate of Bajor. Oh, these guys aren't... Um, that's Death. I don't want a Death one. No, I want one of the Wild. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, that's fine. Right, we're going to stick him in the main army. Bit of magic. You've got a bit of magic, boys. Right, that's done. Now we can upgrade these guys so we can go towards Ungol Spear and Ungol Herd, which is three grand. Oh, this is so expensive. Right, back to normal. That one. That's quite a movement range, eh, that they've got. Oh, that's because it's the guy. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I do want to get into this region. Is that going to put me out of 25%? No, just beautiful. Yep, so we got that coming in. Do I want to recruit again? Maybe one more unit. Now give me four units of range. I love having four units of range for whatever reason. Right, I want these guys in there too. I'd love these guys to be able to raid. But I think we're quite going to get there. That's probably too far, eh? Yep, too far. Right, so we're going camp. Nice. Awesome, foursome. Right, now we can recruit some more gore herd and stuff. How big's their garrison? Yeah, it's decent size, isn't it? But we don't want to attack into there too much just yet. It's fine. Right, we can do some recruiting. Oh, we don't have a lot of money. Actually, we don't have a lot of money at all. Right, he needs to go to here and start raiding. That'll give us some money. Give us a whole 99 bucks. That's not very much. What have we got? 12. We got 18 troops. I've got 8 plus. I've got 16. We've got a couple of unit advantage. Plus we have two lords. Yeah, we can probably take it. If we have both. I can move in raiding stance. That far? Okay. Go. Oh no, I still want to raid, don't I? Yep. Hopefully they push out. That'll be ideal for us. Nope. Okay. Right, so I want to attack with my main herd. And have these guys as support. Ooh. Ooh, what's this totem? Plus, oh, armor pin. Look at the, um, and, um, not animation. Design on that, though. That's cool. So, you want to go armor pin. I probably want to put that on one of my archers, actually. Are we not going to be able to take this? I don't know if we are, actually, now I'm looking at it. it might be just a wee bit short, eh? Alright, we'll siege it anyway. See what happens. And we can't, oh, we can't continue to recruit because we don't have enough money. Oh, we're so broke. Right, so they gave us the battering ram. Yeah, I don't think we can take this, guys. I don't think so. I don't think we can. I think we have to flee, flee back into the hills. But I need money. Like yesterday. Right, what else can we go for then? Up here. Yep. I'm going to stick him in raiding. Oh, 
which means unfortunately we're not hidden anymore, but I say we kind of need the income at the moment. No, we're not. We're fine. We're fine. I've fixed it. Nice. Oh, 15% from rating, yeah. Oh, jeez, we've got four options. Okay. Morris Lib is a Oh, God, I probably butcher that. Is ascendant. Usurping the sun. Usurp yeah, usurping the sun. God, you guys figured it out. I can't read. Usurping the sun's <laughs> revered plates in the firmament. The world is awakened with its sick and terrible hue. Such an event is almost unheard of. It is the call of the beastmen. A sign that the herd has the opportunity to dominate. Lead them, beast lord. Siege glory. Right, we can do when one falls. Oh, damage units will be fully replenished. Nice. In two turns. Runus Incentive. Yeah. Plus 10 Bestial Rage. And plus 33% upkeep. Well, we don't want that one, do we? 50% campaign movement that winded. <coughs> Minus 50% campaign movement, but plus 15% melee damage. And plus 50 melee attack. That's incredible. We'll have to go with that one, I think. That 50% melee thing is a bit, um... Character root wounded. How? How's he? There's not even anybody there. Oh, you bastards. All right. I think now we want to go into this one to give us, um... Regeneration. Can I not get across that river? Not in raiding stance. I can't get across it at all. How do I get across the bloody river? Oh, Beast Pass. Beast Pass, of course, of course. Use the Beast Pass. That puts us back into negative territories, though. And you've leveled. Nice. Oh, we've got the campaign movement for him. So, can continue down this path, which is income from rating 3%. Minus 3% upkeep for all units, and that, that's good. What's the max level? 15. Attrition... Or enemy siege holder. I think I want to go with the upkeep. Reduction and upkeep costs. I think that's the best idea. I know. I'm trying to sort it. We'll be fine once we take this. This lord has caused too many problems. We must stop him. Savage him. Where is he? Oh yeah, of course. Right. So we've got five turns to do that. Right, we need to go back and do that. But we're going to go for this first, because I want some money. I'm going to actually stick him on raiding starts. Okay, although getting some regeneration for that gore ball would be nice. Oh, hello, army. Right, so these guys are close enough. Are these guys can attack now? I think we're going to be just short. So if we go back into the ambush, we should be... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Both are the same. Oh, he ran away. Coward. Oh, can Orno Resolve win that one? Nice. How much money? We're going to raise, we have to. We've got 400 bucks from the victory. And we get two grand. Yep. Thank you. Plus eight armor, nice. Oh, whole growth, nice. What was that? That was that one, eh? Plus eight armor, yeah, that's the skills. Ah, uh, we want campaign movement for him as well. And this is our second lord, who happens to be our main one at the moment. Awesome, right, that's there. We've solved our money issues. We're going to head back down this way. And we'll continue to raid and um, recruit on our way down here because we want to take this. Awesome, guys. We're going to stop there. Hopefully you've enjoyed episode one of Call of the Beastmen. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.